Hi, my name is Michael Jung, and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'll be talking about Runlink that plays the Christmas piano. What is a Christmas piano? Well, it's funny you ask that, because right here, we have the Christmas piano on the left. For those of you who haven't come to the video, the reason it's called a Christmas piano is because of its colourful keys, you see, with Christmas colours on it. Over here on the right side is actually the code for the Christmas piano made with Runlink. Oh, what is Runlink? Now, what is Runlink? The next question. So Runlink is technology that can, one, link devices such as your smart fridge with your phone. If you have a smart fridge, you can try to access it with Runlink and then pair it with your phone. So in that way, you can control your fridge using your phone, even if you're at work. And you can add sensors to your fridge as well. You can check if the temperature is right, if it's too hot or too cold. Now the next thing, people can play the piano from across the world. Now Runlink has the ability to go worldwide. If you, for example, upload your program to the chip on the, on the board, then anyone from across the world can then get the code and then play with you. If you like FaceTime, Skype, whatever you use. And then, you know, we can have like 10 Christmas pianos going at the same time, like an orchestra of pianos. Now, it might not have as many octaves, but hey, it's still something. This means it can also play, Runlink can also play a role in IoT, not the piano. But what IoT technology is, is information, internet of things, I mean. And internet of things is basically like a cloud, except of different things. For example, Runlink can make your computer part of the Internet of Things by connecting it with other devices, allowing it to communicate. And it also links people to together across the North Pole. Get it, Christmas? Anyway, so this is actually the logo for Runlink. It's just running with a link. <laughs> and also here is the Wi-Fi chip. Now, next question we have is transforming STEM into STEM AI. Now, STEM, or Science, Technology, Engineering, and Maths, as an independent and separate field of study and application. Now, STEM AI is learning through problem solving and finding anything that can be connected. Now, why is this the case? So, human intelligence is how we learn using lectures, homework, exams, picking up things and throwing at each other. Artificial intelligence uses machine learning. So how machine learning works is using deep learning and problem solving. Deep learning is when you feed it thousands of images. For example, there's this one robot who has thousands of images of different lung disease, and it can accurately figure out the percentage of how likely a patient is to having this disease. And our problem solving is like solving everyday problems that you would find on cool math games, except probably harder. Anyway, IoT, Internet of Things, and IOI, it looks like LOL, but it's also Internet of Intelligences. Now, Internet of Things and Intelligences is like this, a cloud full of everything connected to it. Now, Runlink, it connects your laptop and your fridge together on this cloud, so it's kind of like this. So here's an example video, right here. I mean, it might be in the eye up there at the corner of your screen, but it's Runlink with Google Home. Now I'm gonna give you two options. One of the options is to pause right now, and then go and see the video for yourself. The other option is for me to spoil the video 
and you go see it after this video. Now, you both, both options require you to see the video, so pick one of them now. But if you want to see the video now, I'll give you three seconds to pause it, okay? Three, two, one. Now, if you're still here, it means you want me to spoil it and you can watch it after the video. So basically, what happens is this video is about using Google Home to control a light level graph made using RunLink. Now, Google Home has voice recognition technology, which means you can talk into it and it'll be able to pick out what words you say and give it a command. Now, RunLink combined with this, it combines Google with a light sensor. It allows you to talk into Google and then RunLink will turn on the light sensor and give you an accurate graph of the light level in the room. So if it suddenly goes dark, then the light level, the graph will have a drop. Now, the role of Google plays is voice command, while the role that RunLink plays is the display graph, like I said earlier. RunLink also links the light sensor and Google together, making it Internet of Things by connecting it. Thank you.